this is a public service announcement. If white people ever invite you to a secluded island, say no. Welcome to Agents of Scream, the first and only place to come to for movie reviews live at the cinema. And we're back again for yet another trailer reaction. This time for the movie called Fantasy Island, which is directed by a guy called Jeff Wadlow, who's responsible for movies like Never Back Down, Kick Ass 2, and allegedly a live action He Man movie coming in 2021. Ooh. The movie is also starring Michael Pena, who you might know from the Ant Man movies, and also Michael Rooker. Who you might know as Yondu from the Guardian of the Galaxy films. This film is produced by Blumhouse Production which usually produces horror films and they've done films such as Get Out, The Purge, Paranormal Activity films, Insidious, Upgrade, Halloween etc 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 so you know this is going to be another horror film that's what they specialize in. Apart from that I don't know anything else about the film so without further ado let's get into the trailer right about no. I hope you're ready. Oh, Scrooge! There is an elevator. In the elevator, you press the button to the floor with no name. Don't press the button with the floor to no name. There's a snake as well. There's a life you always dreamt of. Interesting. This looks like a fire festival. The plane, it's here. This weekend, you will be our guests. Here, anything and everything is possible. No service. It's not everything is possible. Good evening. Michael Pena. Let me officially welcome you to Fantasy Island. Mm. Fantasy Island! Curious how this all works. What if your fantasy involves a person from your life? Holograms, like Tupac. What if it's somebody you died? Tupac. Rihanna. So, what's your fantasy? Revenge on a childhood bully. Just want it. I see it. Your life is about to change. I want it. I hope you're ready. Um. There is only one fantasy per guest. And you must see your fantasy through. It brought her back to life. No matter what. Okay. Oh my god. That's really her. Work. This is not what I meant. What the hell is this place? People die here. No! The island's twisting what we asked for. I'm your friend. I've always wanted to hear you say that. Valentine's Day peak. <laughs> Before we even get started, this is a public service announcement. If white people ever invite you to a secluded island, say no. Remember I told you. That being said, let's analyze the trailer. What did we just see? Fantasy Island. Overall, I enjoyed the trailer. Very interesting. There's a lot of potential for the story. You go to a secluded island. They ask you what your fantasy is which could be a wide variety, it could be pleasure, it could be revenge, it could be all sorts. With the promise that they can make your fantasies come true. Now who doesn't want that? And obviously, shit goes left real quick. So it does It does look interesting. I want to see what the twist is. I want to see what different people's fantasies are, if they can escape, and what the twist is. And you know, that's most definitely what most horror films hinge on. Whether or not the horror film is good or not, depends solely on how good the twist is well not solely that's a that's a mistake on my part but a huge part of it is so it can be scary but then when the plot gets revealed 
depending what it is that can you know decide whether it's a good or bad film so hopefully what the twist is in this movie what the fantasy is it, it makes the, the movie hold up Blumhouse Productions as I said they are renowned for doing good horror films so hopefully this is another one I'm not too familiar with the cast apart from the guy who I mentioned before Michael Peña who was in the Ant-Man films and what did he say he said uh let me get into my Spanish accent he said you, you must see your fantasy until the end you must be from the Dominican Republic or something that was horrible I apologize I've never seen him as a villain in any movie so this is a different take from him I'm interested to see it so overall <clears throat> for this trailer I'll rate it three out of five islands something else i noticed in this trailer and it seems to be a trend with horror films is they take very well known tracks and kind of remix them into horror make them scary tracks this is an ariana grande tune in the background and they kind of retweet it to make it sound scary so that's something that i appreciated as well and they talk about resurrecting the dead as well so it's not going to be horror it's going to be like supernatural as well so i'm going to be i'm interested to see where they take it, it's definitely piqued my interest. When is this coming out? Oh well, yeah, it's coming out. It's coming out in um, Valentine's Day 2020. Perfect time to snuggle your bae. And if you don't have a bae, then put that in the comments below and let's play matchmaker. We can find a bae for you. And regardless of that, we all know Valentine's Day is a money making scam anyway. So don't even worry about it. But what did you think of the trailer? Will you be checking for this when it comes out next year? Let us know in the comments below. As always, I have been your boy Miles. We have been the agents of screen and until the next video, peace.